Hi guys, so today I'm just going to talk you through creating VLANs on NetGear smart switches. So we're going to do the same as we did in my previous video on fully managed switches. So we're going to create a VLAN 99. We will create a routable interface for it so that that VLAN can route. So first thing you're going to want to do is log into your switch. Now standard NetGear smart switch will come on an IP address of 192.168.0.239. Connect to it on port 80 via its web management GUI. Yeah. So I already have an address assigned to my switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into my switch. We'll come along to switching. Then you're going to want to come to VLAN. We're going to create VLAN 99. Call it video test the same as we did previously. Once that's added, we'll see that appear there. So there is our newly created VLAN. So that's the VLAN created. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply that to some switch ports. So we'll come along to switching VLAN and we'll come down to advanced and VLAN membership. So then when you're in VLAN membership, you can then pick a port. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove from port 11, we're going to remove VLAN 1. And we're going to make that a tagged port on VLAN 11 instead. What that will enable us to do is then make VLAN 99 the default on port 11. So we'll make that an untagged port there. So now we know VLAN 11 exists, 99. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change our PVID to match that of our default. So for us, it's going to be 99. So we'll change that there under port PVID configuration. There we go. So now this is port 11 on my switch, which is a default of VLAN 99. Is also talking VLANs 1 and VLAN 30. So next we want to come along to routing, down to VLAN, VLAN routing. From here I can pick my newly created VLAN 99. I can give it an IP address of 192.168.99.254. Give it submask. We can leave MTU blank because it will add that in itself. And that, there we go. So there is my VLAN interface now. There we go, we've created a VLAN 99, we've given it an interface on the VLAN, we've signed it to port 11, and we've added VLAN 1 to it as a tagged port. Cheers, guys, we'll catch you again soon.